Hey Internet, I'm sitting here with We Believe. He is a DJ, he's a social media manager, and he's the former retail marketing manager at Honolulu Surf Co. Hawaii, which is a retail chain that's owned by Billabong. Let's talk about a little bit where you're from. So people that don't know you on the internet or on my channel, like um, how did you get to the point where you were the retail marketing manager? For most like specific people like in the surf industry, we all started a shop somewhere, which I did. I started I was surfing a lot, so I was working at a shop, another shop, and going to school. And one of one of the reps from this other company, Dragon Optical, came in and offered me like a sub rep position, and I, I took it, moved up in the company, and I was there about four, four years. Decided I needed to go back to school a little bit. I was in JC. I was taking like classes like art and business, um, some design stuff, because that's stuff I wanted to do. Next thing you know, my friend uh, had told me there was a job opening over. Uh, Billabong got the job as a retail marketing manager for Honolulu Surf Co. Hawaii and uh, stayed there for about five years. As a retail marketing manager, first of all, how big was the chain? 15 or 17 stores um, throughout all the islands through Maui, Oahu, Big Island, and Kauai. So that's that's a that's a pretty big chain. Honolulu was more perceived as like a, a uh, like a touristy brand. It wasn't it wasn't really a core like surf company. Uh, the retail chain was um, Billabong was expanding and buying retail chains was to basically put more of their Billabong products inside the store because when you have retail chains that are, uh, retail stores that are owned by individual owners, like your mom and pop shops, you know, they, 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 they pick a, like, you know, like we want certain brands in there. They have yeah. like the total control over it. So Billabong as a brand growing, they were like, you know what, well, we're, we don't, we're not going to open stores under Billabongs per se, and mm -hmm. we'll just buy like established stores already. Mm -hmm. And we'll just kind of control like the buying in the store. So we'll place 60% of the store with Billabong product mm -hmm. and the other stuff with other brands. It's an interesting point. Like a lot of the people that are watching my channel are, are not or probably will not see that level um, of growth in a company. To be a brand that is that big and able to buy out a chain so that you can create an opportunity for more um, for more real estate. My next question is what was it like managing 16, 16 stores in a chain? That, that's that's a lot of stores. No, it was. So, I mean, basically my job until to little things is like running like sale promotions for each season, like back to school, or like Christmas sales, doing mailers. Like, I mean, there was, there was times where I was like stuffing like 22 by 28 posters with like 11 by 17 posters and boxes and shipping out myself. You had to be pretty organized about stuff and I was never an organized person before but I had to. I had to pay attention to detail because uh, you, you definitely plan like seasons ahead for stuff and um, the cool thing is you worked with a lot of brands um, on on promotions and things. So while the retail shop was in Hawaii, Hui was actually, you're from, you were in California, you are based in California. Yeah, so um, Honolulu started in, in Hawaii. It's, it's their headquarters is in Maui. So when Billabong bought them, they didn't want to you know disrupt anything. So they kept everybody there to run run all the shops, obviously. Um, so the marketing department I got hired was it was in Irvine at, at the Billabong corporate. And you told me that you were flying you were flying to Hawaii. Yeah, yeah. So I'd fly to Hawaii, you know, for a while, like every other month. And then during the winter times, I'd spend a little bit more time because we have events. It was awesome. Like I mean between work and just hanging out. I mean, if anybody know, knows anything about the surf industry, like it's it's such a small, like small surf industry. Five, six years, years ago, somebody told me like, you know, the surf the surf industry was like a six or seven billion dollar industry mm -hmm. compared to like Nike who does like $150, 50 billion, you know? Yeah. So it's like, it's a huge difference. But the thing is like, it's so small and such, such a small niche. It's, it's, it's awesome once you can get into it. Everyone knows each other. Though. Yeah, yeah. I figured like, I might never make like six figures, but mm -hmm. but the satisfaction of being able to like have fun at my job and just like enjoy yeah. it, not like worry, like you know, or just, be stressed. Yeah, or, like you know, like nobody likes to work. Yeah, I mean, I don't like to work. You know, like sure. but if I have to work at something, if I have to work at a job, but it's gonna be something that I, like I enjoy doing. And yeah, want to be at. Right? Yeah, it's a very interesting point. I think everyone that's probably watching this interview, anyways on that track at s in some point or another because you're either going for a dream or you want to work in fashion. So 
if a kid is in fashion school and watching this and has aspirations of having some sort of remnant of a job like that, yeah. do you have any specific advice for them? Going into anything, if you want to do like design or sales, marketing, whatever, like I feel like you need to cover like aspects of all, like you need to learn that stuff like when you're, when you're going like in school, like you might be going to school specifically for design or business or whatever, but like learn, like you should learn every trade because for me that that's, that's helped me out through my whole career. Like I'm not, I'm not like an expert designer. I'm not an, like a complete expert, like photographer, an expert business person, but like I, I can do everything. But I guess we're like, you know, if, if you want to get retail marketing, you know, you definitely need a uh, retail, retail background, understanding consumer, you know, trends and buying. The majority of people watching my channel are, are startup brands. So everything that you've kind of experienced with all the things you've touched on from photography, I mean, product photography to like marketing, social media, and then buying patterns and retail moving product what are some things via your experience that you should that a brand new clothing company should know there's so many there's there's so many companies out there right now and like i the only thing that differentiates anybody is you're just being creative and design quality is pretty important about about right uh, building a quality product um i think design is super important um and then and then branding the branding branding quality or design and quality i think are, three really big things and if you're starting by yourself too try to make your own decisions like there's you know the term about too many cooks in the kitchen like that i think that affects a lot of people because you're always absolutely worried, like you're always worried about oh like well they, 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 people try to do too many things if it's your company like you make the final say and just do do it yourself like go go with what you believe in you know like if it fails it fails and you learn from it but if you have a gut feeling about something just go there do stuff that you like and then chances are people there's people that like the same things you do sure so and then be confident with those decisions yeah i want to thank my guest we believe thank you buddy follow this guy on instagram at we believe and tell him thank you for sharing his time and his knowledge uh for this interview on designer advice um follow me on twitter and instagram and get at me at facebook forward slash designer john Freenom. um any comments anything to add to the conversation drop them down below and we'll see you guys on the next one i love you all peace